Today we're going to venture into men's skincare. So, as you may know, a lot of men suffer from dry skin underneath their beards and it's quite hard to control sometimes. The trick is to use very mild and moisturising ingredients and try and avoid things that can irritate. I looked at the ingredients on a lot of beard washes that were available in pharmacies and local stores and they all seemed fairly surfactant based and not much else and I wanted to add in some beneficial oils that I know can help. The idea behind this is that you'd wash with the cleanser, it should replace soap because the pH is more beneficial for the skin and then you follow up with a moisturising beard oil. So this is the formula I came up with. I have obviously had to include one surfactant because we do need it to cleanse. I've chosen one of the mildest which is cocomidal propyl betaine. You can switch this out for something else if you prefer. I'll leave the formula up in the corner there for you to refer to while I'm making this. Obviously, as usual, I forgot to press record. So what you see me mixing here is the distilled water, the vegetable glycerin and the Sologum AX. If you don't have Sologum, you can use Xanthan Gum Soft. And then I just added the cocomidal propyl betaine and this will just be mixed in very gently to avoid creating too many bubbles. And that's our water phase. Basically the solar gum is our thickener, the vegetable glycerin is our humectant and the cocomidal propyl betaine is obviously our cleanser. It won't give bubbles but it'll give a nice creamy lather. Then we move on to the oil phase and this is emulsifying wax. I get mine from Maker's Ingredients. So this is a combination of satyryl alcohol and sodium lauryl sulfate. If you want to avoid sodium lauryl sulfate, there are other emulsifying waxes available. And then you see me adding the Kukui nut oil, macadamia nut oil, unrefined cocoa butter and cetyl alcohol. And these are all beneficial oils for the skin. They help to retain moisture, prevent dry flaking skin and repair damaged skin. So they're all very good for nourishing uh, conditions like eczema and psoriasis. So they're therefore very good for under beer moisturization. Uh, beard, not beer. And then cetyl alcohol because it's a thickener and it also moisturises and it uh, helps to give a nice skin feel afterwards. So I'm mixing all of those together and then we take our two phases, weigh the water phase first and note down the weight including the beaker and that way you can replace any water loss to evaporation afterwards. And what we're going to do is put these in a water bath as usual. Heat them up until the oil phase is melted and then you can pour the water phase into the oil phase and sheer mix to create an emulsion. You'll know you've hit emulsion when you can take the stick blender out and see the mix not separating on the end. And then all you need to do is just detach your shear mixer head from the mechanism and then you can clean the head. Obviously never ever ever do this when it's still plugged in and attached because uh, you will lose a finger and you don't want to do that. So clean off the head of that and then you can leave this to cool down uh, because we need to leave it to cool to 40 degrees C as usual before we add our cool down phase ingredients.
Right, so now it's sufficiently cooled down, we can add our cool down phase. And for the cool down phase, I've obviously chosen a preservative. I'm using phenoxyethanol EHG. Uh, this is a broad spectrum preservative. Then I'm using saccharide isomeric plus. This is a deep moisturizing active that carries on working even when the product's rinsed off and vitamin E, this is our antioxidant, and it also helps to repair the skin. And as you can see, I showed you in the beaker there because it had uh, gone in nice layers in the beaker and I thought that was quite satisfying. Anyway, add that in, mix it by hand, so you don't create too many bubbles, you don't need to shear mix at this point, just mix it really, really, really thoroughly. And then what we'll need to do is check and adjust the pH. If you want to know more about adjusting pH, then I have got a video that I've linked below and that explains exactly how I do it, where I got this pH meter and what sort of pH levels you need. For this, I want between 4.5 and 5. So I'm just adjusting that down a little bit and we got it to a 4.91, which is absolutely fine. And now I'm ready to bottle it up and I've just got these pet bottles that I got online and uh, watch me badly fill it. Note I've only made quite a small batch because we were testing this out. The bottle is a lot larger which is why it doesn't fit all the way to the top. All I've done is just put this in a little piping bag and squeeze it out because it was a bit too thick to pour in at this point. If you want to make this a bit thinner you can, you can just up the water content and lower the oil and emulsifying wax content. Just make sure you've got enough emulsifying wax to emulsify your oils in your water of course. And there you go. It's ready to use. I have given it to my husband. He does like it so far. We're continuing using it. I will do a future video on a beard oil that goes with this a bit later on. Right now I'm going to label this. I usually label in black and gold, but it costs money to get those done. So I'm going to start printing clear labels. I have to give Tara Lee credit for these. A clear labels always look stunning and I've included the ingredients as well just to make it a bit easier for reference. I hope you liked this video and it's given you a little bit of inspiration to make your own. Let me know if you try it or if you've got other ingredients you suggest. If you want more videos and some exclusive content, I have a Patreon link below. And as usual, please don't forget to subscribe because it really helps me out and I'll see you next time.